Hey guys, welcome to phonics. All right, when we talk about phonics, phonics has to deal with all of the letters and the sounds that they make. And that's why you see all the letters on your screen right now. Because that's what phonics is, it's the letters and the sounds. And I know that you've been working on letters and sounds since preschool and kindergarten. And I know that everybody knows every one of these letters. And you know most of the sounds that they make. We are going to get learn about some different things that you probably never talked about today. So let's go back over all these letters and some of the sounds they make just so we'll be ready for today's lesson. Now you know that the letters that are on this board, there are two different kinds. Some of them are consonants, remember, and some are vowels. We have been talking about vowels for, oh, about three weeks now. We've been talking about the shorts and the longs and how they have different sounds. So let's find the vowels. Remember, there's only a few vowels. The rest are all the consonants. So remember, A is a vowel, and E is a vowel, I is a vowel, O is a vowel, and so is U. There are only five vowels in our alphabet. The rest of those green letters are all consonants. We know that the vowels can be different sound. A sometimes says A, ah, and sometimes it says A. E sometimes says eh, sometimes it says e. It just depends on what word it's in. I is the same way. I sometimes says i, eh, i, eh. sometimes it says i. O is going to say ah or o, oh, depending on what word it's in. And U is going to say a uh, or u, just depending on what word it's in. But most of the consonants are always going to have the same sound, like f is always going to say f, f, and N is always going to say n, n, and Z is always going to say z, z, and R is always going to say r, r. They're always going to sound like that. Most of the consonants don't change, but what we're going to talk about today are two of the consonants that do change. We have two consonants up here that can make different sounds depending on what word it's in. And these consonants are the letter C and the letter G. C and G make different sounds sometimes. Most of the time, most of the time, C is going to say K. And most of the time, G is going to say G. But sometimes they don't say k and j. I'm sorry, k and g. So let's look at some times when they do not say k and g, because sometimes they don't. They're tricky letters. I have a bunch of words here that all have c's. And some of these words say k, but some of these words don't. So let's go through real quick and find all of the c's. Oh, this one has a c. And that one has a C, and there's a C, there's a C, there's a C, and there's a C, there's a C, there's a C, everywhere a C, C. <laughs> there's a C, C, and a C. Okay, we found all the C's. Did you notice when I was looking at all those words that some of them do say K? Which words up here do you say, do you see that make the K sound? Which words up here say k? Does cat? Yeah, cat says k. Cape says k. Combs says k. Are there any other ones? Yeah, cap says k, k. And so does cake. Very good. So does cage. Yeah, it says k, k. But what about the words that are left? Do their C's say K? <laughs> they don't, do they? Let's read those words that are left. So we've got the word cereal. We've got the word pencil, city, face, place, and nice. What do their C's sound like? Think about that. Cereal, pencil, city, p 
place, face, nice. What does the C sound like? Yeah, they sound like S's. So sometimes C can sound like K, like in cat, in cape, in cones, in cage, in cake, in cap. It makes the K sound. But sometimes C can make the S sound like an S. Cereal, pencil, city, place, face. Nice. So C can say K or it can say S. Isn't that crazy? It can though. C can be kind of tricky. And there's a name for the K and the S sound of C. Just like when we had short and long vowels. I know that sounds crazy. I don't know why they call them short and long. But when it's a soft C, that's when it makes the S sound. So a soft C would be face, and nice, and place, and pencil, and cereal, and city, those would be the soft C's because they make the S sound. But then the hard C's, they call it a hard C when it makes the K sound. So K. Sorry. K. Cat. Cape. Cake. Cap. Cage. And cones. They make the K sound. So that's called a hard C. So we've got hard C is in pink, hard C, and then we had soft C's are in the green, soft C. So hard C and soft C, and it depends on what word it's in. Hard C says K, soft C says S. Okay? All right, well guess what? The G is just like that. There's going to be some that are called hard G's. And there's going to be some that are called soft G's. Let's read these words. And I want you to pay attention to the way that the G can sound. First, let's go find all the G's, okay? Here's a G. <laughs> here's a G. Here's a G. There's a G. There's a G. Here's a G. There's a G. And a G. There's a G. There's a G. Right, there's a G. And here's a G. I found all the G's. I bet when I was looking at those G's, you could read some of those words and you realize that the G sounds different. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's soft. All right, so let's find out what hard and soft G sound like. A hard G makes the G sound. Did you see any words that make the G sound? Yeah, goat. Goat definitely does. So does gum and game. Oh, and gave and hmm. I don't see any other words that say guh. We've got game, gum, goat, and gave. They make the guh sound. That's a hard G. Now the soft G's, let's listen to see if we can figure out what a soft G sounds like. Badge. Jim, edge, large, giraffe, wage, cage, giant. What did the soft G's sound like? Let's listen one more time. Badge, Jim, edge, large, giraffe, wage, cage, giant. What did they sound like? Yeah, J's. Soft G sounds like a J. They make the J sound. So our soft G's are the green ones I've underlined. They sound like J. They sound like J. But the hard G's, those are the ones that sound normal, like we've always learned that G sounds like G. But sometimes G can make different sounds depending on what word it's in. It has a soft G or a hard G. Soft G sounds like J. So let's go back and just look at C. What did soft C sound like? Yeah, soft C sounds like a S. And hard, I'm sorry, soft G sounds like a J. So good. We've got hard and soft C's and G's. They make different sounds. 
that's what we're going to be working on for the next couple of weeks. So if you're having some trouble with the C's and G's, don't worry, because we're going to be working on these for lots of days, and by the end of it, you're going to know all about C and G and be able to read and write words that have soft and hard C's and G's. Let's take a peek real quick at our spelling words so that you'll be ready for the test when we take it. So here's our spelling words. And all of our spelling words have soft C's or G's. None of them, well, there might be one or two that have a hard or soft C or G. But most of these words are going to have soft or hard, I'm sorry, soft C's or G's. So soft C's or G's. Let's read these words just real quick. Trace, like when you trace something, like when you go over it. Place, badge, like the thing that a policeman wears, he wears a badge. Cage, space, ice, bulge, like a bulge is like a big bump, like if you put um, your cell phone in your pocket, it makes a bulge, like you can see it sticking out, that's a bulge. Range, and a range is like something that's close to you, maybe like it's in range, like if you're trying to shoot a deer, you have to make sure it's in range or you won't be able to get it, right? Edge, mice. And then these words that are left are our review words because we had mule last week and we had cute last week and then out and wash and saw are review words from first grade. You need to make sure you know how to spell out, wash, and saw. But these are our review words from last week. We had cute and mule. The rest of the words that are underlined have a soft C or G. So let's find the soft C or G real quick. Trace. Oh, see the soft C? Place. Ooh, soft C because it says s. Badge. Oh, it makes a soft G. Cage. There's a soft G. Place. Soft C. Ice. Soft C. Bulge. Soft G. Range. Soft G. Edge. We've got a soft G. And then mice has a soft C. Very good. I also did notice that cute has a hard C, not a soft one. It's got a hard one, so I'm not going to highlight it. But cute does have a hard C because it makes the K sound. All the rest of these words are going to be soft. They make soft C or G sounds, okay? All right, so you will be ready to do your practice page. And like I said, if you're a little confused about hard and soft C and G, it's okay because we're going to work on it some more tomorrow. But that is today's lesson to kind of introduce you to C's and G's and how they make different sounds. We'll work on this again some more later. Bye, guys.